Hey everybody, I'm Michael Sirachi here, Swordmaster0813. I was fortunate enough to get one of the 25 Beastmaster Swords, number 23 to be exact, and I promised John that I would do an unboxing, first impressions, and uh, tell you what I think. So uh, let's do it. I uh, This was so well wrapped that I actually started to unwrap some of it, just because the video would have been like 10 minutes, half of that just unwrapping it. It was very well packaged. I um, have to thank John an immense amount because he did a great job packaging this. A lot of people don't know is at one time I had Jody Sampson's Collector Edition number two of 25 out of the Beastmaster Swords that he did. And it was beautiful, but a boat anchor. And uh, me and John talked a lot about that before I decided to order one. And I said that uh, it being such a large sword, it has to have uh, the right feel. And he agreed completely. And let's see how they did. All right. For starters, you have the, what I would call a certificate of authenticity in there. Although he's sending one with it, which is 23 out of 25. Not sure if you guys can see that or not. There's an issue with lighting. I'll go back and redo it. Well, I gotta tell you, first and foremost, this sword is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can tell it is all hand done. You can see how they did the grind. You can actually see the grind marks in there very finely. She is a razor blade. Not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but she's sharp. This feels wonderful in the hand. This feels the way that it should have felt the whole time. And uh, if anyone knows Jody's work, when I had his original that he did, it, uh, very heavy, very heavy in the hand, didn't feel right, didn't feel like it should. This thing absolutely feels like it should. It's a very large sword, obviously, very large sword. I mean, I'm 5'9", so tells you, you know. I would say, I don't know the exact weight off hand, three and a half, feels like three and a half. Good flexibility. Fittings are very, very tight. The scabbard is incredibly impressive. Incredibly impressive. I uh, love the leather they used on this. This is just insanely well done. I love the scabbard. This scabbard was worth every penny. I am super glad I... Uh, Went with that as well. This is absolutely a flawless interpretation of the sword. Absolutely. This was just so well done. I can't even tell you. It, uh, it's hard to make light of it. I have medium sized hands, I would say, not too big, not too small, and that fits it pretty perfectly. I would say, um, in John's video where he said, he's 6'1", the sword was made for him, 
I'd say that's completely accurate. This sword is big. There's no question. It's a big blade. But uh, I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I plan to do some cutting with it in uh, the spring. Or if we ever get a good day where the snow melts up here in upstate New York. But it's doubtful. Absolutely stunning piece. I absolutely love it. I mean, it just feels so good in the hand for how big it is. Yes, oh, they did a fantastic job. This is worth every penny, and I am so grateful to have been a part of this whole experience. For you guys who don't know, I have no idea the other gentlemen who bought this sword, if they know about sword etiquette or not. Uh, this is high carbon steel. You want to keep it oiled at all times. Um, I would recommend not leaving it in the sheath, even though the sheath is gorgeous, just because of condensation. Just trying to help one uh, fellow collector to another. But absolutely incredible. I uh, was so fortunate to be part of this journey with you guys, and uh, I'm very humbled by the whole experience. So thank you so much, and uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon when I have some cutting videos to show. Have a very Merry Christmas. God bless.